I welcome viewers of our channel. Dubai city of high-rises and shopping malls has transformed itself from a desert outpost to a destination du jour, where tourists flock for sales bargains, sunshine, and family fun. Learn more about the best places to visit with our list of the top attractions in Dubai. 1. Burj Khalifa Dubai's landmark building is the Burj Khalifa, which at 829.8 meters is the tallest building in the world and the most famous of the city's points of interest. For most visitors, a trip to the observation deck on the 124th floor here is a must-do while in the city. The views across the city skyline from this bird's eye perspective are simply staggering. The slick observation deck experience includes a multimedia presentation on both Dubai and the building of the Burj Khalifa before a high-speed elevator whizzes you up to the observation deck for those 360-degree views out across the skyscrapers to the desert on one side and the ocean on the other. Nighttime visits are particularly popular with photographers due to Dubai's famous city lights panoramas. Buy your Burj Khalifa at the top entrance ticket in advance to avoid long lineups, especially if you are planning to visit on a weekend. Back on the ground, wrapping around the Burj Khalifa, are the building's beautifully designed gardens, with winding walkways. There are plenty of water features including the Dubai Fountain, the world's tallest performing fountain, modeled on the famous fountains of Bellagio in Las Vegas. 2. Dubai Mall Dubai Mall is the city's premier mall and provides entry to the Burj Khalifa, as well as the Dubai Aquarium. There is also an ice skating rink, gaming zone, and cinema complex if you are looking for more entertainment options. The shopping and eating is endless, and there are nearly always special events such as live music and fashion shows within the mall. The most famous of these are the annual Dubai Shopping Festival in January and February and the Dubai Summer Surprises Festival in July and August. 3. Dubai Museum Dubai's excellent museum is housed in the al Fahidi Fort, built in 1787 to defend Dubai Creek. The fort's walls are built out of traditional coral blocks and held together with lime. The upper floor is supported by wooden poles, and the ceiling is constructed from palm fronds, mud, and plaster. In its history, the fort has served as a residence for the ruling family, a seat of government, garrison, and prison. It is now the city's premier museum. The entrance has a fascinating exhibition of old maps of the Emirates and Dubai, showing the mammoth expansion that hit the region after the oil boom. The courtyard is home to several traditional boats and a palm leaf house with an Emirati wind tower. The right hand hall features weaponry, and the left hand hall showcases Emirati musical instruments. Below the ground floor are display halls with exhibits and dioramas covering various aspects of traditional Emirati life, including pearl fishing and Bedouin desert life, as well as artifacts from the 3,000 to 4,000 year old graves at Al Qsai's archaeological site. 4. Bastakia the Bastakia Quarter, also known as the Al Fahidi neighborhood, was built in the late 19th century to be the home of wealthy Persian merchants who dealt mainly in pearls and textiles and were lured to Dubai because of the tax free trading and access to Dubai Creek. Bastakia occupies the eastern portion of Bur Dubai along the creek, and the coral and limestone buildings here, many with walls topped with wind towers, have been excellently preserved. Wind towers provided the homes here with an early form of air conditioning, the wind trapped in the towers was funneled down into the houses. Persian merchants likely transplanted this architectural element from their home country to the Gulf. Lined with distinct Arabian architecture, the narrow lanes are highly evocative of a bygone, and much slower, age in Dubai's history. Inside the district, you'll find the Majlis Gallery, with its collection of traditional Arab ceramics and furniture, housed in a wind tower, and the Al Circle Cultural Foundation, with a shop, cafe, and rotating art exhibitions. 5. Sheikh Saeed Al Maktoum House Sheikh Saeed Al Maktoum was the ruler of Dubai from 1921 to 1958 and grandfather to the current ruler. His former residence has been rebuilt and restored as a museum that is a fine example of Arabian architecture. The original house was built in 1896 by Sheikh Saeed's father, so he could observe shipping activity from the balconies. It was demolished, but the current house was rebuilt next to the original site, staying true to the original model by incorporating carved teak doors, wooden lattice screens across the windows, and gypsum ventilation screens with floral and geometric designs. Thirty rooms are built around a central courtyard with wind tower details on top. Inside are the exhibits of the Dubai Museum of Historical Photographs and Documents, with many wonderful old photographs of Dubai from the period between 1948 and 1953. The marine wing of the museum has photos of fishing, pearling, and boat building. Throughout the building there are many letters, maps, coins, and stamps on display showing the development of the Emirate. 
6. Dubai Creek Al-Sif District Dubai Creek separates the city into two towns, with Dara to the north and Bur Dubai to the south. The creek has been an influential element in the city's growth, first attracting settlers here to fish and pearl dive. Small villages grew up alongside the creek as far back as 4,000 years ago, while the modern era began in the 1830s when the Bani Yas tribe settled in the area. The Dao Wharfage is located along Dubai Creek's bank, north of Al Maktoum Bridge. Still used by small traders from across the Gulf, some of the Dao's anchored here are well over 100 years old. You can visit here, watching cargo being loaded and unloaded on and off the Dao's. Dao workers often invite visitors onto the vessels for a tour, where you can gain insight into the life of these traditional sailors. Many of the Dao's here travel onward to Kuwait, Iran, Oman, India, and down to Africa's Horn. This tiny remnant of Dubai's traditional economy is still a bustling and fascinating place to wander around. On the Bur Dubai side of the creek, rubbing up against the Bastakia neighborhood, the waterfront has been regenerated as the Al Sif district, with a waterfront promenade backed by traditional coral block and limestone buildings, a floating market, and shops selling crafts. It's a great place for a stroll with excellent water views. 7. Jamaira Mosque Jamaira Mosque is considered by many to be the most beautiful of Dubai's mosques. An exact copy of Cairo's Al Azhar Mosque which is eight times its size. The Jamaira Mosque is a fine example of Islamic architecture. This stone structure is built in the medieval Fatimid tradition, with two minarets that display the subtle details in the stonework. It is particularly attractive in the evening when lit with floodlights. The Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Center for Cultural Understanding organizes guided tours of the mosque designed to try to foster a better understanding of the Muslim faith. Tours begin at 10 a.m. daily, except Fridays. 8. Dara. Dara lies on the northern bank of Dubai Creek, and the winding streets here unveil the melting pot of different nationalities that have come to call Dubai home. For travelers, Dara is most famous for its traditional souks, which bustle with shoppers at all times of the day. Dara Gold Souk is world-renowned as the largest gold bazaar in the world. The Dara Spice Souk sells every imaginable spice, with stalls overflowing with bags of frankincense, Cuban, paprika, saffron, sumac, and thyme, as well as the fragrant tune wood rose water, and incense. The fish market provides a much less touristy experience. While in the district, culture lovers shouldn't miss two of Dara's finely restored architectural gems. Heritage House was built in 1890 as the home of a wealthy Iranian merchant and later became the home of Sheikh Ahmed bin Dalmuk, a famous pearl merchant in Dubai. Today, it's a great chance to see the interior of a traditional family home. The al Ahmadiyya School constructed in 1912, is the oldest school in Dubai and is now a museum of public education. 9. Dubai Frame Sitting slap bang between Dubai's older neighborhoods clustered around the creek and the city's modern sprawl, this ginormous 150-meter-high picture frame is one of Dubai's latest sights. Inside, a series of galleries whisk you through the city's history and explore Emirati heritage before you travel up to the sky deck where there are fantastic panoramas of both old and new Dubai to be snapped on the viewing platforms. 10. Sheikh Zayed Road Sheikh Zayed Road is the main thoroughfare running through Dubai's modern downtown business district. This wide, eight-lane highway is rimmed with towering glass, chrome, and steel high-rises along its entire length. It's one of the best on-the-ground vantage points for Dubai's famed skyscraper views. Main attractions are along, or just off, the strip between the roundabout and the first intersection, and most of Dubai's famous malls are located along the road's route. The Dubai World Trade Tower has an observation deck on its top floor, which offers visitors panoramic views, a cheaper option than the Burj Khalifa. Like the video? Want to see more? Like and subscribe to the channel.